The team will make use of the large hallway outside Tadihor's burial chamber, rolling the nine-foot block of stone all the way out on wooden planks. In such a tight space, there can be no room for error. To insert the wooden planks, they must tilt the lid up further. I always have a concern about the, the shifting and the tilting of this lid. If you think of a family car weighs just one ton, that stone is the same weight as five family cars. The tiniest mistake in this moment could be a grave mistake. I'm, I'm worried about everything, so I have to take care of every minor thing. I know what? It's a very narrow place and too many people. Without a good balance, it will turn up quickly and it will crush anyone. Absolutely, the life is on the line right now. I'm not going to feel calm until everybody's safe out of this spiral chamber and this lid is dragged out. Down in the tomb complex, a cloth goes in to protect Tadihor. And the sarcophagus lid is, at last, on the move. What is happening right now, we're getting a look into the sarcophagus of Dadi Hor. The open sarcophagi that remained sealed, untouched for 2,600 years. This is one of these rare moments. I have to go in right now. I need to look inside the sarcophagus of Tadi Hor. I have to look. I need to go. This is fantastic. This is the first time since 2,600 years ago somebody takes a closer look at Tadi Hor. Just getting to meet this lady, feeling so connected to this woman. It's emotional. It's not just making a discovery. I've always loved the ancient Egyptians. Their contribution to human culture is immeasurable. To be able to meet one of those people, it's not just, it's something you can't describe. I think it's time that she can speak to us. <laughs> 